Hello, my name is Blake Minsky, and today I'm very excited to show you a preview of Codesmith Generator 6.0. In the past, people have requested that we add different context menus inside of Template Explorer. Well, your wish has come true. Now, when you right-click in a folder, you have all of your Windows context menus available to you. In this case, we can open up this folder and see that nothing exists. You can see all of your context menus are the same inside of Template Explorer. Let's check out a template. Now let's go and view our checked out templates. We added the ability to filter properties based on a string value. In this case, we're going to look for the source table property. Let's go look at our checked out templates. As you can see, it, we checked out three templates. And let's go and view the store procedures template. Right away, you'll see that we added a new property grid. This property grid has a lot of features and is very intelligent. One of the features we added to the 6.0 was the ability to filter template properties. We can look for any property based on a name that we already know. We can search for all properties starting with A, or contain the letter A. In this case, let's filter down to auto execute by typing in AU, or let's look for the table property by typing in table. We can clear this filter by clicking on the X. Now let's go select a table, and let's click generate. This is a completely new dialog that we added to Codesmith Generator 6.0. It features rich syntax highlighting to allow you to see your generated code just how you would inside of SQL Management Studio or Visual Studio. You can modify the output by typing, and as you can see what file or what part of the file has changed. You can copy the output to the clipboard, and let me bring over Notepad. And as you can see, I paste that in from the clipboard. Or you can save this to disk. Now let's show off the rich editing capabilities. Let's go change something in this template. We're going to right click and select edit. Right away you can see that we've made many changes to the Visual Studio integration. First, we have a tools menu located at the root of the Visual Studio tool menu. And in here we can open up Template Explorer, Map Editor, Manage Data Sources, Active Snippet Configuration, Your Options, and About Christmas Generator. The second thing you'll notice is we have a new toolbar to build a template and to generate a template. As you can see that we have rich integration inside of Visual Studio to show you the error window when you generate that we're missing a required property. So if we go into the property grid by hitting F4 and navigating over here, you can see that this is our property grid. Now let's choose a source table and click generate. As you can see, uh, the document was generated and created in a new tab inside of Visual Studio. And now you're using the Visual Studio SQL Editor. From here, you can connect to a server, execute a script, everything you're familiar with. Now let's go back to the stored procedures template and let's go hide the property grid. I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to create a new property. So we hit the right angle bracket and now you have IntelliSense on any directive that you can add. So if we want to go create a new property, let's give it a name of my property. And it's complaining with a squiggly that it must have a type attribute. So let's go ahead and type. And you'll notice that we have IntelliSense for namespaces. So let's give this a string. It succeeded. Also, we've added deep integration into other areas of Visual Studio, like comment selection, uncomment selection, and it's very intelligent in what it selects. So if we want to go and comment this out, we'll select this, and we'll come down here and we'll comment this. But if we come over here, we can comment that out. Previously, this didn't work this way. So let's undo these changes. We also we have rich outlining support. So we can collapse the definitions. And as you can see, this comment was expanded earlier. And now when we hover over it, we have a preview of what is inside that closed region. Our IntelliSense doesn't stop there. So we have full support for lambdas and much more. Let's say that we wanted to go off a property of the source table.columns object. We can just hit dot and it'll bring up a menu of everything we can do. Extension methods, methods and properties that exist on this object. Also, we have the ability to document your templates. So if we go find this method right here and we will have uh, go to definition support at a future release, you can see that this method it's called get select page procedure name and it returns a string. Now let's go to this method. 
We can either hit the find dialog and go to it via the find, or we can do find and files. By going edit, find and replace, find and files. As you can see, we can see all the usages and we can go to it by just by double clicking on it. So let's add some documentation. This method returns a stored procedure name and it returns a string. Now let's go back up to where this was defined and let's hover over with the IntelliSense. As you can see, it brings in the documentation that we specified. One of the features that I really like is we've added rich error handling, as I previously showed. So we have a squiggly here. Now when we try to build this template, this, the error window will come up, and we can click on this and see what the error was. Another feature I'm going to show you that we added in Pittsmith Generator 6.0 is we're going to go add a new item. So now we have a new menu called Pittsmith Generator, and let's go down and create a new C Sharp template. And let's go create a custom class to show off our property window. So we're going to call it public class my class. Let's hide this error window, or this find window. Let's give it a few properties. Let's copy this and let's do another one. Oop. Now let's go add a new property with a new type. In the past, to display this property, we would have had to create a custom UI type editor to show it in our property grid. That is no longer the case. So let's build the template. We see that built, and let's open up our property grid. Our new property, my custom property, which is a complex property, contains a my boolean value right here and a string value. And we can consume that inside of our template. And this has a lot of value because you can use your custom types, you can use a generic collection, etc., and be able to edit the properties right inside of the property grid. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We are very excited to bring you Cosmic Generator 6.0. Please let us know if you have any feedback or you encounter any bugs.